Hello and welcome back to the Technomancer. Boy. Damn. Yes, thank you. Third challenge of the first round. Yeah. Some more dudes. This I can handle. So I don't get caught out by anything too untoward. I might be in serious trouble here. Oh, come on, that... Yeah. Perfect bloody evasion. Max shield up. I love the fight... the fact that these fights are clearly to the death if, uh, you know... And just the big bruiser to deal with. Get some electrical arcs into him. And down he goes. Okay, and some more dudes. But hey, our health is generated. Well, my health did. The uh, other my allies doesn't seem to have, but. So. Grenades? You have bloody grenades? Oh, that's not good. And now it's just me. Thank God for my magnetic shield, otherwise I'd be in serious trouble by now. I mean, I'm in serious trouble anyway, but... I kind of need to focus on the guy with the gun. Okay, that's one of them down. And unfortunately, there goes my shield. Aha! Nope, it doesn't pause while I do that. Okay, I didn't realize that. On the plus side, another ability point. Okay. Reducing the numbers. Dodge it. Seriously, dude. Grenades in an arena fight? You're not Revan, you know. I'd be really impressed if anybody knows what I'm referring to specifically there. Hoorah! <sighs> Had to use up a bucket load of uh, things to do that, but hey, hey. Uh, add some points in life for a gen, please. And I also get a point here, so point in strength, or a point in energy regeneration plus 10%, damage cause plus 2, able to equip technomancer gloves and armor. Damage caused by hand-to-hand -hand attacks plus one. Chance of destructing with a hand-to-hand attacks plus two. Let's get Technomancer power, rank three. All right, quick save there. That a boy. Okay, so now we can leave. And I presume Lee's gonna have the decency to talk to us outside and give us the information we want. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Joys of more loading screens. Yes, the loading screens continue to be really bloody long. 
yeah, health regeneration while I've got my magnetic shield up should be very useful. As far as I'm concerned. Because where possible I'm going to be keeping it up constantly. So Feel free to insert your own sexual innuendo there. Good lord, these loading screens. You know, I think they've gotten longer. It's probably because it's trying to remember things like where the bodies were left and uh, that sort of stuff. There we go. Alright, you have my information now. Hey there, new blood. What can I do you for? I'm looking for a man named Derek Labor. Yeah, we have. You've earned a bit of honesty from me. Poor Derek, poor, poor Derek. Hey, the snag, snag so big it got him knocked out. If you so you rigged the fight so he'd lose it. There were two fellas after him. More likely that they did him in than the story going round that he simply choked drinking from a glass. Don't you think? Strong fellow like that. So he's dead Where then. Can I find the guys? They're a Vori, answer. So I'm guessing you can find him hanging around Anton Rogue's warehouse. But I didn't tell you that. Oh, marvelous. That bloody safe. warehouse again. Thanks for the help. Interesting that I can't tell her that uh, her significant other is dead. Anything up here? Small lootable crates. Another storage locker. Another bed. I probably ought to talk to my uh, allies occasionally. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to bug you, but I gotta talk to you about something. What is it about, Jeffrey? Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just because I'm not used to life in the city, but. Cut to the point, soldier. I just, I, I think we're being tailed, sir. I think someone's been watching us, but I don't, I, I don't know why. <sighs> All right. Any ideas how to figure out who it is? Hell yeah. I ain't no hunter for nothing, sir. I'd say we could leave from, say, the barracks or something and head towards the exchange. But, you know, at casual, like it's just another day. Yep. We just treat it like we're out for a walk. And once we know we're being followed, we lead him to a trap down a dead-end road. And pow! You've got him. Or her. Whoever it is. That's one way to go. Alright. Why not? Let's try it. See what happens. Alright. Go to the barracks to put the plan in motion. Do you have anything Lieutenant? to say? No, you don't. Okay. Ah, bum 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 A little bird told me the opposition is spreading. By opposition, do you mean terrorists? You seem quite sympathetic to their cause. What? No! I'm just telling you what I've heard. People have been denounced for far less. Tongue in shape. It's a really charming place to live, this planet, isn't it? And I fu I'm fully aware of the fact that this is Mars. But as I'm not sure how far into the future this is meant to be. I mean, it's obviously far enough for them to build a colony and then for it to go to hell. Where it is, you're the guy who paid to kill Derek Labor. The guy who won his last fight in the arena a few days ago. Fuck you! Who the hell you think you are coming in here like this, prick? How about we teach you a lesson in manners? How about that, boys? And the guy with the electrified stick. Or do you really want to mess with me? Yes, the health regeneration is slow, but it could well save me bacon. So if I do stupid things that oh bloody hell. Oh for God's sake. I hate the guys with guns, because they're a pain in the balls to avoid. <sighs> I 
Uh, what's the bet? It's before I had a conversation with them. Oh no, no. Okay, good. Okay, don't get cocky, Richard. Just because you've managed to win a few fights doesn't mean you're going to uh, walk all over these guys. Where it is, you're the guy. Fuck you! Aha! Uh -huh. stop, stop, damn it, stop! We're the ones who shot Derek. And who sent you to do it? I. Shit, it was that fucking guard who watches over the fights. He wanted Derek gone. I, I don't know why, so don't ask. I just Thank you for your honesty. I did what he asked, alright? Yeah, alright. An honest killer. What will they think of next? Later. Should we arrest these guys, or you know, at least beat them unconscious? Oh, well, I suppose they're just professionals doing a job. Seriously, what is the law on professional assassins? I mean, I know. Yo, know, I'm fully aware of the fact that they are guilty of murder. But are the people who. Uh, they. Uh, are the people who hire them also guilty of murder? Or are they just guilty of conspiracy to commit murder? I'm genuinely curious, I don't know. Had to be a big tough guy, isn't it? Me you're behind Derek Labor's death. Why'd you do it? Why did I do it? You know how much that little bitch cost me in serum? Papa's little ass was supposed to go down in the last. Oh, uh, it always comes down to a rigged but, uh, match, doesn't he decided it? He needed to follow the rules. Being a pathetic Labor who started winning fights swelled his head. A little arrogance goes a long way in the arena. <laughs> you get hurt outside of it, though. He was supposed to lose. He did it. That hurt me. So, I made an example of him to other fighters who think they can think for themselves, too. You're under arrest for the murder of Derek Labor. Yes, yeah, sure. You and what army officer? Get out of here. Me and this big stick. Ah, double tap to that one, so she's down. Good hit. And down you go. Oh, there's another one. Nice hit. And you are under arrest. Tell the fiance what's happened. Lovely, we gained karma for arresting him. I think that's the first time we've gained karma, rather than you know, losing it accidentally by you know, unintentionally murdering people. Miss, I don't. There's no easy way to say this, but I found your fiance's body. Did we? I don't remember that. Some rigged bets. I arrested the man responsible. He's in jail now. That doesn't bring Derek back, but at least the guy who did it will pay. Thank you, officer. I... thank you. Yeah, we did good there. Yeah, that's this. There's a limit to what I can do to help these people, but... What I can do, I will. Go on top of nicking all their stuff, obviously. Mm, down we go. Yes, I'm still annoyed that I missed out on uh, completing that other quest, but oh well.
I'm just so used to the RPG model where you can just, you know, run around and do quests in pretty much whatever order you want. Alright, so, destroy the nest. Destroy the nest, destroy the nest. Yep, pretty straightforward job. Three locations, find them, smash them, job done. I'm going to fight these bloody things up quite problematic if you fight them en masse. One at a time, they're not too much of an issue. Cobblers. The... Why do I want to call them mole rats? They look an awful lot like a thing that I think should be called a mole rat, but I can't remember what that was from. I was to say, having these goggles with plus one exploration is actually very, very useful because it means I can harvest serum from these guys. So the poor quality leather is not of massive importance, but the, oh boy, that's quite a few of them. But the serum definitely is. These guys are going down easier than the ones in the arena. Which probably means the ones in the arena are higher level. Ooh, good crit. I actually do kind of like the fact it slows down. You know, just for effect when you uh, do get a crit. It's, it's, you know, it's fun. Mag shield back up. Right. Target it. Break off. Push the locks, and it's down. Lovely. Ooh, level 11. Nice. So it's most of the serum I need. And the leather's worth having, but. I'm assuming I'll probably at some point get the ability to turn you know, weak items into better items. How exactly do I destroy the nests? Ah, plant the bomb. Boom. Nice and simple. Right. Got pretty much everything I want up that tree. Increase electrical damage caused by gloves. Hmm. He can perform another action more quickly after casting a Technomancy spell. Generates energy that can be recovered from the ground when an enemy is stunned. Mm, no, I think I'm going to go this way, get Electric Fist, and then Electric Storm. And let's go into there. And put that on three, that on zero, and that on nine. So actually, I might as well put that on two. And remove that from. Nope, can't remove it. Put it on eight. Okay. Defense bonus attack penalty will favor ranged attacks, which is obvious. Alright. So this is where I came down earlier. Again, more of them. A punch action, which yeah, doesn't seem to do a massive amount. Mostly what I'm uh, working towards is, you know, Electrical Arc Strength 3. In fact, I might put the Electric Punch on... Well, the sort of Electric Storm one. So I might put the Electrical Punch on 3. In fact, I think I will. Good hits. Oh, 
was. So yes, what are mole rats from? Because that's definitely what those look like to me. I mean, it could well be Mars War because I can't remember. I don't think it is, though. I'm pretty sure it was something else. Oh, come on, that was a perfectly timed dodge. Nice hit to the sternum, though. Ooh, we had some good quality leather there. Choice of taking out tougher enemies. You get better loot for it. When I have a spare point going, I'll probably upgrade. Uh, aha! Good hit. Yeah, that punch has the advantage of disrupting the enemy. See, ah, right. So it's the little guys who charge the big one for that uh, AOE attack. Okay. The more of them there are, the bigger and more powerful it is. Makes sense. Armor up. I love how casually he chucks that bomb in. It's just, you know, oh. Oh, yeah, this bomb. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'll be honest, this mission's reminding me of something from The Witcher. Well, specifically The Witcher 2. You know, go around and what the balls are those things? Apart from freaking me the hell out. Skin the hell out of that thing. Well, it was good for some stuff, anyway. Yeah. That, that one gave me the creeps, I'll admit that. You just know all the really good crafting supplies are in the locked crates. Yeah, as long as we draw the little critters away, big critters basically uh, harm us. Ooh, nice critical hit on the uh, thing. Ah, okay, the punch attack's not bad at all. Dead guy over here. Some metal debris on him. Now one of these days there'll be good loot. Locust nest destroyed. Right. So what have we got in the old quest log? Crowd's beggars, which I'm not going to finish. Bodyguard from Merchant, need to go back to speak to him, report to him, dealt with that, go to the barracks. Alright, so we're heading back topside now. So where's the lift at? It's there. But getting round to it is going to require... Yeah, go 
going around the long way. Well, that's fine. I can do that, that's not a problem. As long as I know where I'm going, it's not an issue. I just you know, don't like getting lost. Plus, you know, probably more uh, dudes for more XP, maybe more loot. Yeah, because on their own, these critters aren't dangerous at all. Even in groups, without a, you know, one of the larger ones, they're not a problem at all. Well, let's face it, there was no style or technique in those attacks. That was just, you know, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, good, it's finally dead. Why is it anything that involves quarterstaff fighting always tries to use you know, that kind of flip turn? You know, the one that Maul does quite a few times during uh, the, uh, the fight in episode 1. It's in that one. But I don't think that's anywhere in the quarterstaff manuals. I would have to check. I do need to I do need to actually start looking up quarterstaff manuals and start you know, effectively teaching myself quarterstaff. Because I am a I am a bona fide scholar of the Hotspur School of Defense now. I passed my prize play a couple of weeks ago. Which is to all intents and purposes it's the equivalent of gaining a belt in a martial art. Except rather than using uh, belts, we use uh, garter ribbons. So you know, official ceremony. Yo, whole shebang. Everybody stands around you in a circle with swords held high. And then the marshal kneels down and ties a ribbon around your thigh. Because we're awesome. <laughs> Seriously, who wants a belt when you can have a garter ribbon? It's great. <laughs> Sitting on my shelf at the moment, actually. Yes, and one of the things that... Uh, once you pass your scholar's prize, you get to choose two additional weapons. So one of them will be quarterstaff, and I haven't decided on the other one yet. Probably Messer and Buckler, something like that. Yeah, I was in a sort of slightly closer scrappy one. Actually, I could do Wrestling and Dagger, because I've been saying I need to improve the quality of my close-in wrestling work. Going you know, and actually studying Wrestling and Dagger would be a good way to do that. And that'd be good too, you know, quarterstaff for long-range encounters. Or... Um, yeah, you know, or, or wrestling for when things get really up close and personal as so. well. Still need to think about it. Yeah, I swear the loading screens have gotten longer. Dang it, I was just talking about my drink. Right, so where are we going? But where the hell are we? Okay, out of there. Right. So, we want to put head to the barracks to put the plan into operation, and we also want to talk to the merchant. So I'll talk to the merchant first. Because that's easy to do. And then I'll head into the barracks. More specifically, if I turn this quest in and then end this part there, and then go and uh, deal with that. Bloody boxes and stuff hidden all over this marketplace. And he's got a job for me now, has he? I might Be ignore that. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manson. A pleasure as always. Yes, thank you. I have your bodyguard. Yes, yes, a wonderful specimen. Words and all. Bag! Mutant! Call! Bag! Beautiful! Yes, Bag! And his sheer size. Like he was simply built to dissuade any ill intentioned folks from bothering us. Mm. Here, here, take this. To compensate you for all you've done. And feel free. Doesn't matter how big they are, though. Bullets to the head will still take them down. 
Middle Earth has seemed to have banned traditional guns on this planet. Yeah, rather than guns, they all seem to use nail guns and things like that. And increase the destructive power of Technomancy by 20%. Yes, I quite want the electric storm. Powerful attack that hits all enemies in a wide area several times, increasing the resistance to disruption during attack. So, uh, yeah, let's head up that way to get that. Also got a new jacket, which is some beggar's rags, which I can't equip because it just doesn't look very good. Because <laughs> it's beggar's rags, what do you expect? And let's head towards the barracks. And, yeah, I think that's an excellent point to end this part. I'll sort of head over in uh, the direction of the barracks and say thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next part.